Welcome back to London's Beautiful Life. I'm Beck to the Rock and tonight we're here for the UK gala screening of Bullet Train. We're interviewing the stars such as Joey King and Brad Pitt. Enjoy! Congratulations on the film. It was ab that? congratulations on the film. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. I actually saw it yesterday. Amazing. What attracted you to the role? It's just so damn funny, man. I read this in the the heart of lockdown when we we're all going a bit like. And uh, it just made me laugh, and I, I figured this is going to be good for all of us. Good sav. And what was the most memorable, funniest moment on the whole of the set? The fight scenes with the boys were really funny. I got to say, they were really they were like fun to do because it, it was more this Jackie Chan element, you know. If I could compare ourselves to the great, the God, the one and only. But uh, it was it was cool. We were we were to be in that slipstream. What's your favorite character in the movie? You know, I'm very partial to Brad Pitt. Obviously, this sort of hapless, you know, kind of a, uh, reluctant, you know, assassin. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So, and he just embodies it so well. Um, I just, it, it's just only Brad. When you think of the movie now, you watch it and you think no one else could have possibly played a role like that except Brad. He's perfect casting. And um, so, yeah, he's, he, but there's some wonderful roles. You know, the Aaron Taylor Johnson, who we didn't really know before the film, uh, we've now put him as the lead in a Marvel film that's coming up so uh, what a wonderful discovery to making this movie and realize that maybe there's someone else that uh, we're gonna have a whole movie behind you know so exciting so I know you've done reality TV would you ever want to get into the acting side of things um, do you know what I was actually uh, my management wanted me to do some acting lessons um, maybe in the future I don't know what kind of role I play I think I'm in a bit of a box of the tattoos and like the accent I don't know maybe some like firm films or like some English like films yeah are you looking forward to seeing the film tonight? I'm not sure what I'm looking forward more to, like the movie or Brad Pitt. So, good like answer. Sophie's choice. I don't know. I know you're gonna get this question for years to come, but how was it in the Love Island villa? Yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did. Yeah, I had its moments, but for me, it was like a really good experience. Met some good friends, and then hopefully we can stay friends afterwards as well. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Who do you think is gonna win? I personally think David and Eckard Sue have a good chance of winning, but who knows? It's up to the public but yeah I feel like they argue and I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. Twins, what was the most memorable part on set of the whole film? The most memorable part on set was that we got out of the house, we got to make a movie like this that was incredible on the page, it was brilliantly written and directed um, and by David Lynch and it was really really fun to just like fight Brad Pitt every day, it really was. So who's your favourite actor that you're all kind of waiting to see? Who's my favourite actor in this movie? Obviously Brad Pitt, I actually don't know who the rest of the cast is, I just know it's Brad Pitt. As soon as it's a Brad Pitt movie, you're like, well, it's going to be good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, we're all excited to see Brad Pitt. I mean, he's just literally just there now. Yeah, he's right there. Um, so you're saying you designed this dress? Yeah, tell me more about that. Um, I have a swimwear business, um, which I've done for 10 years, and now working with different dress designers as collaborating and doing swimming gowns. Amazing. It's very stretchy. It's very comfortable. It's first time wearing it. Well, I love it. Love the colour. Love the design. Thank you. Um, so I know you're going to get this all the time, but like, how was Love Island? Have you got any regrets? What was the best part? No regrets whatsoever. And I think that's why I'm so happy to sort of this side of it. Of course, I would love to stay in there longer, but I sort of, I feel like I had a few challenges. Like, obviously, it was covered up with some Someone, went on a date so I feel like I definitely got to a feel for the experience um, but yeah, yeah. amazing <laughs> Sorry, that was no don't worry um, so who do you think is going to win um, do you know what I think Davide and Ekin will win but I do want um, Gemma and Luca to win so it's based on a novel that's right uh, so what inspired you to create the film in the first place um, we actually got it in script phase so it had already been adapted by Zach Olkowitz and was at Sony and Britney Morrissey of Sony, a, a phenomenal executive, brought it to our attention. We read it, we were like, this is so modern, so wild, so fun. I gave it to David and he was like, okay, we're going to be on a train for two hours. How, How we am gonna I going to make this, thing? this what? thing exciting and entertaining? And then he did and he took it on himself, brought a lot of heart to each of the characters and um, made it a world that you wanted to escape to. It's part of our relationship. Like Kelly, we identified the material and saw the potential and the challenge of it. And then um, those challenges challenges bring out creativity. You're on a train for two hours, we had to make it interesting and look, we created this universe and um, hopefully it goes on and on and on. I love the fight sequence these two did in the, in the quiet car, you know, and also it was one of the first action scenes we shot at the beginning yeah. of the movie, so they, they set the bar really high yeah. and uh, it comes across really brilliantly, man. I've watched the film.
film um, and I absolutely love your character. Did you find it quite difficult to play? Was it quite a challenge? I loved it. I think it's always so fun to play the villain because it's such a heightened version of reality.